So let's do it. So on page 18, we did the, the food, remember? We were talking about where are the food from? José Lidio. Oh my goodness. Today is a good day. Hi, José. Good morning. It's nice to see you here. So page 19, I didn't receive the pictures of these activities. If you can send it to me. I send now because I forgot. It's okay. As long as you send, <laughs> I need them all by the 23 because I need to correct all the activities to post your grades. Tem que postar okay. de vocês, então se vocês conseguirem mandar all the activities until the 23rd, please. So on page 19, Adrian, what did you put on letter A? Is a rice dish. Ah, o macarrão ali no 18? 18, 19, sorry, 19. Ah, peraí que eu tô no errado, então. Ok. É a 2, né? Yes, please. Eu admito que eu não fiz. What? Adrian? É uma vez. Eu tenho que uma vez, eu tenho que. What happened? You were doing so well. Eu não fiz a tarefa dessa vez. Oh, wow, Adrian. That's really messed up. So, Nicole, did you do number 2A? I think so. Very <laughs> teacher. No problem, Nicole. Page 19, please. Um, eu botei paella. Perfect, very paella. good, paella, very good. And letter B, Maria, please. Okay, Betty. No problem. No problem. I put... I don't say fall out no me. Barbecue. Barbecue, yes. Sirloin with chimichurri sauce. Very good, Maria. Yes. And let us see Nicholas, please. Ratatui. Perfect, Ratatui. Let her deem Agatha. Uh, Pavlova. Pavlova. Pavlova, yes, Nicole. Very Agatha, sorry, very good. And letter E, did you do, Camila? No, I didn't, but I can try it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know, is letter E? Yes, please. It's very unusual, we've never heard in Brazil, I don't think. Um, no soccer? Uh, another one that's unusual. <laughs> Help Camila. Yes. Yeah, see, yeah, see, oh, barbecue, I should sirloin with tea. No, that's no, letter B. Ver como o Adrian is paying attention. Adrian is very good. Tá escrito que serve com pão. Quem que come lasanha com pão? It's falafel. Yes, falafel. Very good, Maria. It's because it's like Middle Eastern. And F, what did you guys put? Beef teriyaki. Perfect, beef teriyaki, very good. And G? Pasta. Pasta. And H, it's what Camila said before, que Camila tinha dito. Combines layers of meat and vegetables. What is it? Moussaka. Perfect, Camila. Thank you. And then on number three, we need to get the, the words in pink and put them in the correct order. So has anyone do it? I do. I do. Maria, can you read until the point, please? Okay. Uh, this dish is legend. Creamy, yes. juicy, and absolutely delicious. Very good. So, dish, juicy, and delicious. Perfect. Adrian? 
O Adrian não fez, né? It's falei. okay, but Adrian can read. Qual Greek. que eu falei, então? The second point, Greek. A Greek moussaka is one of the most popular dishes in Greece. Mm -hmm. Served. Te ajudei, Adrian, viu? Served. Obrigado. You're welcome. É para continuar lendo? Ah, uh, yes, please. In almost every tavern and prepared in every Russian hood, on special occasions of big family means and for a good reason. Perfect. To prepare a... Ah, yes, continue, continue. Não, porque daí tem os tracinhos ali que eu já não sei. Ah, uh, thank you. Nicholas, did you do it? Uh, to prepare a traditional Greek moussaka. Uh, esse aqui foi o único que eu não. Uh, depois recipe. Do moussaka, não sei, não sei recipe. Que é. To prepare a traditional Greek moussaka recipe. Luxus. Uh, Juice, uh, sauce of juicy. In this uh, case, it rests. Mm -hmm. So the first one, Nicholas, is traditional Greek moussaka recipe. Lucius layers of juicy minced beef. Don't forget traditional recipe layers and minced. It's okay, uh, Nicholas. It's a recipe. Beef or lamb uh, are baked in tomato-based sauce, mm -hmm. paired with sweet, sweet eggplants, uh, eggplants, and the creamy bechamel sauce and the juice together into golden perfection. Ah, okay. You just have to invert, Nicholas. Depois de beef and lamb. João Pedro. I don't even know who João Pedro is. Ah, João Pedro, of course. I'm sorry. O João Pedro, oxe, quem que yes. é o Falei João Pedro. Yes. Hi, João. Good morning. So, Nicolas, after beef and lamb, it's cooked. Depois, eggplant, sauce, and baked. But it's okay. Because the recipes are a little different. Did anyone write any traditional Brazilian dish? I did. Maria, please read yours for us. Feijoada is a traditional Brazilian food composed, composed basically of beans and different types of meat. Perfect. Even fruits like banana and orange. I don't know if you eat with banana and orange, but I like. Yes, <laughs> I've never tried. Yes, oh, have it. Oh, no, yeah. you are there, Rona. You eat you with the orange and banana, both? Yes, yes, the yes. Banana, uh, but, uh, banana. the banana. But are the banana like fried or just banana, banana? No, no, just no. banana. So, banana. Yes. It's yeah. so good. But do you smash it? No. Oh, no, no. Just no. Me. So, like, you have a one spoon of beans just and one the, banana? Just cut the banana up to... In On the plate? The On yes. top of the beans? Yes. Oh, yes. that's different. I've never... I heard, but I didn't know people used to do that. And the or I, I don't... Okay. Huh? And laranja também fica mais bom. But you eat the orange after or together? Yes, yes. É um aperitivo para depois. Ah, okay. É. A banana tu come com o que sobrou no prato, sabe? Tipo, daí tu passa. Em meu, pô. Yes, Maria. <laughs> But banana is sweet and beans are Mas salt. Fica bom, fica bom. Eu estranhei também. But it's so good. Yes. But don't tell me you eat uh, ice cream with french fries. It's good too. Ah, Maria, come on, really? Oh, it's good. It's good. What? 
Oh my Stro goodness. Strawberry ice cream with fries, it's so good. Yeah, I've never tried, but uh, may, I don't know if I'll have the courage. <laughs> Gabby, you too. I like to eat bread <laughs> with ice cream. Bread with ice cream. Oh my goodness. No, that, that's it's different. almost pizza. I enjoy sacanage. Yes. It's good that people try different things. This is good. So on then on page 20, Nicole, have you ever tried banana with beans or ice cream with french fries? No. No, no. yes. Yeah, that's different. Well, maybe one day. So on page 20, we were talking, remember Lucas gave the answer before we did the exercise? So pavlova is a traditional dish and refers to who? On page a 20. famous ballerina. Yes, a famous ballerina. Very good. And then, did you read a little excerpt of Pavlova? Yes. And were you able to do page 21, uh, number three? We had to read these yes. statements. Perfect. So, yes, they were true or false. so, letter A, please. Maria, can you read the letter A? The author is from New Zealand. Eu coloquei aqui é falso. Não. It's false. Very good. Where is he from? He studied abroad in New Zealand, but he's not from New Zealand. Letter B, Hona, please. Okay. Pavlova takes wiped cream and different toppings. Yes. Do they use whipped cream in different toppings? Eduarda. True or false? Yes. yes, it's true. Very good. And letter C, Nicholas, please. Alzheimer's and kiwis agree on the origin of the dessert. Do they agree? True or false? False. False. Very good. They are actually rivals. Hi, Eduardo. Good morning. Jose Lidio, are you there? And the letter C is true or false? Uh, I skip right. Eu falei, né? Uh, mm -hmm. ah, it's true. The authors likes the author likes whipped cream. Sorry, Hannah. Camila, can you please read the letter E? The dessert was created after a Russian ballerina visited New Zealand and Australia. True or false? True. True, very good. And Gabby, letter F, please. Uh, Pavlova was created in, a, in Australia. Perfect. Was Pavlova, was it created in Australia? It's true. Yes. And, and people say it was created in Australia, some people say it's in New Zealand, so they say it's false because no one knows for sure where it was, if it was in Australia. Yeah, yeah, false New Zealand in Australia. Yeah, they say no one knows for sure because one country says was it was there and the other says it was there, so difficult. In the phrase on number four, Drone. Tem uma explicação que eu não fiz. Why, Adrian? Eu troquei de celular, daí, tipo, perdi um monte de mensagem do grupo. E eu Adrian. não tô usando mesmo, não tô usando mesmo. Adrian, I have to discount some points now that I have to Eles close the group. Eu, eu pedi para ele mandar uma mensagem ainda para mim de trabalho. Hum. But are you in on the group, Nick? Uh, Adrian? Tô. Ah, que, yes. Tipo, é, desde ontem. You lose the message. Trás, so... é. Oh, wow. Ah, but the good thing is that you have a new phone. So it's good. Finalmente, tá louco que lá uma tá velha. Tá com a so, parede. No, but you deserve. You've been working really hard. I'm very. I was very proud of you. Now, so so. No, I'm kidding. I'm still proud. You just have to send me a picture of these activities. And, thank you. And number four, the phrase drone 
To could best be replaced by what? Attracted by. Attracted, Attracted by. by. In this case, because of drawn in the text, the best way uh, Agatha would be drawn, attracted by. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> and the word fluffy could best be replaced by what? Soft. Soft. Yes, fluffy. It's very no, very cute. And did you read about Pavlova, who she was, and what did she do? Yes. And the word tutu on page 22 refers to what? Pavlova's ballet skirt. Yes, very good. And according to the author of the text Pavlova, Australians and New Zealanders have a good nature rivalry about who created the dessert. And do you know any other countries that have like, like rivals? Besides New Zealand and Australia? A uh, paleta mexicana. <laughs> Sim, lá no México eles colocam paleta brasileira. Yes! Really? This I didn't know. Oh, wow. So, but we... Uh, Brazil, are we rivals with any country? We are rivals with Argentina, right? Over soccer. It's not that we don't like Argentinians, we are just a little rivals. Uh, any other country that you can think of? Besides Brazil and Argentina? No? They say England and Scotland too over soccer, Chile and Peru. They have some rivalries. And on number eight, the funny thing about Pavlova, that one no one knows. What is it different in there? The answer of number eight. Anyone? I don't do number eight. No? Did anyone do? Eu não fiz isso também. Não, não tem problema. Ana, você pode ler? Nicolas, você pode ler, por favor? Eu disse que essa eu não sei como fazer. Não, não, mas eu quero que tu leia o enunciado, por favor. The funny thing about Pavlova is that no one knows who first created it. It's used in fries in emphasize that the fact that no one knows who first created Pavlova is funny. The order to, of the sentence is changed, changed for emphasis that is known as a cleft sentence. In English, find another example of a cleft sentence in the article except Thank you. So these, they're talking about cleft sentence. What is a cleft sentence? It's when we change the emphasis, right? So they said that they didn't know for which country Pavlova was created. And then in the text that you read on the article, did you find any other cleft sentence? Let's see. About uh, Pavlova. Actually, they have one that they know that Pavlova first hit the scene when the ballerina uh, from Russia visited New Zealand in wait, in 1926, and then 19 and visited Australia in 29. So probably was New Zealand first. No, I don't know. So they say first she visited New Zealand in 1926 and after in Australia 1929. And they know it was created after that. So why do you think they chose this recipe to make pavlova? 
When you think about ballerina, what do you think of? When you think about a ballerina. Hello, are you a ballerina? Or no? No, Tomás, do you do dance or do you do ballet or no? Just the other dance. We don't know. Does anyone besides Hello dance? Desculpa, teacher, não entendi. Repete, repete. Não, não problem. Do you do ballet? Hello. Yeah. Você faz balé ou não? Yes. Ah, yes. Ah, ok, nice. So, when you think about a ballerina, what do you think of? Porque quando a gente não olha... Entendi. Sorry? Não entendi. Quando vocês uh, pensam em ballerina, qual é a primeira coisa que vem na cabeça de vocês? The first thing that comes in your mind. Mm. A sapatilha, no. but I, I don't know how can I say it in English. Yes, we think about the ballet shoes. I don't know either, but probably they have a specific name, Maria. Yes, if I remember, I'll tell you. Uh, Hello, the ballet shoes, what else? They are, they seem like very fragile because everyone has, is very tall in the, the movements. Maria, you've never danced? You never wanted to be a ballerina? I? Yes. <laughs> I... No, teacher. I know, you don't like. Yes. I don't have coordination with the phrase. Ah, me neither. Yes. But and how is the the recipe? A gente compara a bailarina com a receita que eles criaram, the dessert com a sobremesa. Do you think they we can relate to the bailarina with the dessert? Yes. I think no. No. Agatha, how can you relate to them? Uh, because. Because of the colors, mm -hmm. uh, o formato do bolo parece the uma shape. saia. shape, mm -hmm. very good, because of the shape. Yes. E tem, é, é tipo macio, fofinho, né? Que mm -hmm. nem roupa de bailarina. Yes, very good, perfect. And I connected like this too, very good. And then we did the listening, so now we have to go to page 24. Something we see every year that I hope you guys remember. What is present perfect? What is present perfect? Present perfect. Ah, thank you, Hana. And when do we use it? Have, has. Perfect, so we use have or has plus what? Mais o quê? A gente Past é. participle. Past participle, very good. Qual é a diferença do have e do has? Have is for I, he, she, it, and has is not. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, lembra do has que é mais fácil, porque has a gente só vai usar com he, she, it. E o have com has to. Remember, Richard? Lembra? Richard. Em quais situações a gente vai usar o present perfect? Quando que a gente usa o present perfect? Para falar alguma coisa de agora, tipo, eu tenho tal coisa. Uhum. Na verdade, Adriano, começou no passado, remember? Started in the past and has a continuation in the present. Everything that started in the past and continues in the present, we have to use present perfect. For example, Adrian has studied at Prisma for five years. So Adrian started studying Prisma five years ago and Adrian continues studying Prisma. Então, tu começou cinco anos atrás e tu continua, Adrian. So that's why. So everything that started in the past and continues now, 
We are obligated to use present perfect. Then we have some examples. Adrian, can you please read in orange the first one on page 24? É o diálogo 1 ali? Yes, please. Tá. Have your, you tried these cookies? Yes, I have. I ate them for the first time last year. I always eat them now. Very good. Então, have you ever tried? Uh, Agatha, dialogue two, please. She hasn't eaten anything. Is anything the matter? No, she's just not hungry. She had a sandwich at an hour ago. Very good. Perfect. In dialogue three, Gabby, please. Um... I have finished my dinner, Mom. Can I go? Can I go watch TV now? Yes, but I want you to. When do you in bed? At ten. Before ten. You went to bed at eleven last night. Very good. Perfect. So, what are all these three dialogues have in common? What do they have in common? They have a regular bed. Present perfect. Yes. Bingo. All of them have present perfect. Como é que eu falo present perfect mesmo? Have or has e, e, present perfect. Perfect. Very good.